Yo, what is good? Saints is back again with another YouTube video. And in this video, if you haven't read the title already, I am going to be going through my sneaker collection. This is a video that I really didn't want to make, but I knew eventually it'd have to be a thing. So I'm going to be talking and going through my sneaker collection because these videos previously that I've watched are really boring. Because really, ideally, it's just showing you one sneaker and another sneaker and another sneaker and another. And eventually, personally, I just get bored. So yeah. We're going to be starting off with the high-end shoes that I've got and then we're going to be moving on to the Vans We're going to be moving on to the Adidas shoes A bit of luxury Adidas included into that like Y3, uh, Adidas Recoins etc Then we'll move on to Nike. And then eventually it'll be like off-white Nike. And we'll finally finish it off with Jordans, which will be like Jordan 1s, 3s, and 4s. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. And then after this all, I'm going to be talking about my, you know, my favorite shoes, my top five shoes. So yeah, just go through the slides of shoes that I'm probably talking about right now. Oh my God, this video is so knackering though. I mean, taking all these boxes out, emptying all these shoes, putting them in one individual place, and just doing this all as, oh, it's a sweat, especially in this weather. So I hope you appreciate that I managed to do this. And then yeah, once that's all finished, hopefully, we can talk about my favorite five shoes, which, yeah, they're a bit, they're a bit predictable, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. Sneaker number one. I mean, do I put an accent on something? But these are the Yeezy 700 V2 Statics. I managed to get these on resale, but I only paid an extra 20, 30 pounds. So shout out to the place I got these from. And yeah, I wear these pretty much every single day. They're comfy, they got boost in them. They're easy to wear with cargos. They're easy to wear with pretty much anything, jeans, etc., etc. The Chunky Dad shoe was a shoe that lasted a quite a long time while the trend did. And I've kept these and I love these. So yeah, the easy V2 statics. Rick Owen Ramones. Okay, so Rick Owen Ramones, I originally made a video on. If you haven't watched it, you can get more details on this shoe. I made this to branch out my fashion style and personally this was a step forward in doing that and I absolutely love them. I wear these as much as possible, they're comfy and they're just they're just amazing, they go with everything that I really want to wear them with. So I cannot complain at all about the Ricon Ramones. The off-white collection Virgil did was amazing with Nike and this was my standout shoe from there originally. Although I love my blazers a lot. I managed to get these on the sneakers app and that was just amazing on its own. I remember the exact moment I got them. My manager wouldn't let me go on my lunch break because, you know, just manager things I guess. But I had to get these shoes. So I hid out in the stock room, I tried to get them on the sneakers app and I managed to. I know a very rare W on the sneakers app and that's why they mean so much to me. And at the same time I wrote Air Sibs on the side myself because these aren't going anywhere. These are going to be in my collection forever. I wanted these originally when they dropped in 2017. These are the acronym Air Force Ones in white and I'm very happy to get them. Sorry, I didn't mean acronym Air Force One. It's actually an acronym Air Luna One, but yeah. I'm very happy to get these, they got the zip on the side and I've talked about them a lot in my previous video if you haven't seen them already. They go well with pretty much everything I wanted, I mean they're a white Air Force One at the end of the day. I never owned a white pair of Air Force Ones previously before this so this is a step forward in doing that and at the same time just being a bit different. And finally these are the Sakai Knife Waffles. I wanted these as soon as I saw them and I managed to get them and I'm very happy that I got them. I swapped these for a pair of satin ones because I managed to get two pairs and yeah, no problem with that at all. I wear them with I wear them a fair bit with my Isimiyaki pants. If you haven't seen my Isimiyaki review, go for it right now. And just very happy to get them. What more can I say? There's not a lot you can say about shoes and this is my issue when it comes to talking about your shoe collection and talking about every individual shoe and making a story for every individual shoe. Especially if you're like me and I own a fair bit, 
there is not a lot I can say, so my video is pretty much a boring video. I wasn't looking forward to making this, but here, yeah, that's my top five shoes done, and this is my video done. And if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff. The other thing I could have added to this video was I could have given you outfit pictures, blah, blah, blah. But again, too many shoes for that. And you'll get my outfit pictures when I review everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff. St. Sibs, I am so tired right now. But thank you for watching this video and bye-bye.